Hi everybody. So I have a friend who asked me if I could take care of uh, helping her to um, make a page that is filled with lines at 50 lines per inch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my document properties. I'm going to choose my US letter page. I'm going to make it landscape. And I'm going to resize down so that I can see that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into those properties and I'm going to uh, set everything to inches. So I go to inches there, I go to inches here, and I close this. And now I'm going to drop a rule at 1 inch and at 2 inches. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to that area. And now I'm going to take my Bezier tool and holding down control, I'm going to drop a line and hit return. I'm going to go into my line properties and for stroke I'm going to make it black. I'm going to set my pixels for one pixel width. No fill. I'm going to close that dialog. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, duplicate this. So if I go into my edit menu and choose duplicate and arrow over once, then I have a duplicate. I'm going to do that one more time with my keyboard com combo of control D, move over, control D, move over, control D, move over. Now that I have five here, I'm going to go ahead and select those. I'm going to control D and shift arrow over so that I have ten. I'm going to control D those, move those over. That's uh, 15, 20, 25, and there's 30, but I'm actually going to take this 25 and duplicate those. And now I have essentially 50 lines. I'm holding down Alt to get very fine. Uh, movement on these. So now I've selected all of those and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and zoom those down until they fit within that inch space. I'm going to hold down control and control con control constrains that resize to make sure that nothing is a uh, out of whack. Now I have lines that are um, fitting into an inch, 50 of them that are fitting into an inch. And so, for example, one thing that I can do is I can open up this align and distribute dialog and I can tell everything that's selected to align at the center. You can see that the tops and the bottoms just lined up and I can now take those and line them up in that way with the top of the page and the bottom of the page. All right, so I'm going to select those again. I'm not even holding control, I'm just going down. Now that I have those like that, I can duplicate those Duplicate them again. Duplicate them again. Duplicate them again. And so on. And I can fill up that page with eight and a half inches of 50 lines a piece. Hope this helped. Thanks. Bye.